about a couple of skin products that I am out of and I had to repurchase so picked up a little package from take a lot now the products that I'm out of and I want to talk to you guys about these because they're amazing they're amazing but I do have a skincare video thing on my channel i know a lot of you guys and almost every single one of my videos i always get a comment from someone saying your skin your skin and let me tell you something yes i work on my skin but i feel like the large part of it is because i drink a lot of water guys i ain't even finna lie to you guys like i drink a lot of water but i also do take care of my skin and I do have a skincare video on this channel. I will link it down below so that you can watch it and see what I'm using. I'm not sure if I've changed my products since then, but if you would like to see another skincare video on my channel, then definitely let me know. We can do that. Um, so, sorry, I was just closing the window from the noises, the birds and all of that. So what I'm currently out of are two really, really great products that have done wonderful things for my skin. Now, this one is not new. I've repurchased it. I've spoken about it multiple times. So this is the Skin Creamery uh, Jojoba Melon Seed Baobab Facial Oil. I've spoken about this so many times. It's somewhere on my Instagram as well. I love this and I repurchased it over and over again as I have now. So... Um, the second thing that I was quite pleasantly surprised about and I realized that my skin really does love hyaluronic acid. This is the L'Oreal Revitalift uh, filler with hyaluronic acid. It's got 1.5% hyaluronic acid. It's a serum and I got this in a press package a long time ago and it is so good so good i really really love it especially on the days where i'm applying makeup because it does leave the skin a little bit tacky as well but my skin 
has never looked as great as it does now. Yes, I've got the little hyperpigmentation bits here and there, but for the most part, the skin is smoother and it, it feels so good to the touch. So because of this, I really love this product and I've got the amules of, let me see, of the hyaluronic acid. So this is, I've got two of them left. These are the, uh, the um, amules of the seven day replumping from uh, L'Oreal. I only have two of them left. I realized basically that hyaluronic acid is my jam. It's my jam. So this is what I ended up doing. Um, so from what I've repurchased, I picked up the facial oil, the jojoba, melon seed, and baobab facial oil from Take A Lot, from Skin Creamery, rather, via Take A Lot. So this, this is it. I haven't put anything on my skin as yet because I want to do that on here so that you can see it. I just took a shower. I'm wearing a dress. I'm wearing a dress because <laughs> it's Sunday. So... And I have to run a couple of errands. We'll talk about that. Um, but I just wanted to show you what I picked up. What is new to me is this. This is also Skin Creamery. Sesame Oil Baobab Melon Seed Oil Milk Cleanser. So I've got the Coconut Jojoba Baobab Everyday Cream. This is my facial moisturizer. I use this one at night. Really good. I honestly really want to rep South African products. Like I genuinely feel like, listen, if you know somebody that has a South African skincare company, brand, whatever, and you think maybe it would be a good idea for me to try out their products, please tell me what company it is down below. I will contact them personally on, on like my own end to see if I can maybe pick up some of their products or um, yeah, just try out some of their products for you guys because I really do wanna rip South African brands a lot more than I already am. So that's that on that. Um, so this is the Skin Creamery Sesame Oil Baobab Melon Seed Oil Milk Skin Cleanser. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, there you go. Um, so this one, this one is definitely new to me right now. So I'm definitely going to give this one a try much later on. I'm actually not quite yet because I'm currently finishing off my La Roche-Posay, uh, Effaclar cleansing cream. So once I'm finished with that, then I will give this one a try. But I really wanted to just purchase it and have a cleanser ready and waiting. So we're going to put this in the cupboard because we've got a lot of space in the cupboard. And then the last thing that I picked up with hyaluronic acid is from The Ordinary. Now, for me, this is the very first time I'm actually buying from The Ordinary. And this is hyaluronic acid, 2% plus B5. So it's the, acid, it's the thing itself. So I'm going to use this in replacement of this. So I'm going to see how that goes. going to use it every day, once a day. And... We're gonna try it out. So this is from The Ordinary. First time me purchasing anything from The, the Ordinary. Wow, seems quite thick. Okay, okay. Few drops to the face in the AM and PM. So we're gonna start with this now. Okay, also leaves the skin feeling quite um, tacky, which, I mean, it's cool, I guess. And then what I follow with is this. I literally just go one, one pump of this, one, literally. That's all I need. Put it on too much, and then I just push it in like so. Oh yeah, it feels so good. So, so good. Feels so. Let's see. Feels really good. Skin feeling smooth. Looking good, baby. And then I'm going to go in. Oh, no, no, no. That's for nighttime. So during the day, I also use the Skin Creamery Asimella Flower Aloe Leaf uh, Chlorophyll Wildflower Water Cream. Basically, the Wildflower Water Cream. I do one or two pumps, one and a half. Two pumps, whatever, and then 
I just, oh, this one smells really nice, really fresh. I like it for during the day because it's much lighter than the everyday moisturizer. Love that, love that. Lest we forget SPF, very, very important. Just literally do a couple of drops, like literally. <sighs> a couple of pumps. One or two. Everywhere. And then pat it in, like so. Very important. And that's pretty wow. much it. I'm going to head out now. I am going to pick up a couple of things. I can't really show you what I'm picking up because... Some of the things that I'm picking up on my for my sister's uh, 100k. <laughs> I'm doing a little thing for her, for her 100k subscribers. So I can't really show you that yet. Um, maybe for the next vlog, she'll have probably hit 100k. Okay, so I'm going to go out, step out, get a couple of things. I uh, also need to pop into Woolies to get some spinach and some all those things that you pick up on a weekly basis then we're going to come back have a little bit of a mental health chat check in that kind of thing um show you the book that i'm reading next but yeah i'll vlog what i can and what i can't vlog you know why i can't vlog it until then let's go i need to do my hair actually Oof. i need to put a little something on my hair uh what i normally use is the cantu Shea Butter Leave-In uh, Conditioning Repair Cream. My hair is wet because I've just stepped out of the shower. So I just kind of go in, you know, just like that. And I'm quite, quite generous. I mean, there's not much hair here. You can see that. But I'm quite generous. I do not like to comb my hair. I never have. I'm not going to start today. Um, but yeah. I'm thinking I'm probably going to go get my hair done again, uh, get a bit of that color back because the black is growing back. So get a bit of that light color back on the top there. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. different day it's pretty cloudy I might look a little bit orange it's fine I'm in a little bit of a rush I need to get together my sister's 100k gift package thing I need to wrap it and I'm gonna show you guys it's not only my sister's uh, 100k thing but um, our mom's birthday is tomorrow um, and Hanya, Jeezy's birthday, our little sister, is next week, Wednesday. So, it's crazy. It's crazy. I had to go out and buy a couple of gifts. I'm going to show you what I got for them because by the time this video goes up, they will have already received their gifts. Um, so, and Hanya's not going to watch the vlog. So, I can show you what I got for Hanya, which is pretty much what you get for all little kids. Uh, I might add a little something extra to that. I don't know. Um... We got some balloons in the back because my sister did hit 100k. That N is for my sister 
and um, I wanted to get 100K, but they didn't have a one and they didn't have a K. So I was just like, flip, man. Like, I was so annoyed. Um, so I couldn't, I couldn't do that. So I just opted to go with the N, and then I'm going to make her gifts a little something special. So basically, I just got back from work. Hang on. Hang on. For our mom's birthday, uh, I got her a few things from poetry, as you can see, uh, but I do not want to use the poetry uh, bag, even though her stuff is already wrapped. I asked them to wrap it, so I can't really show you what I got her. Um, and it's a bunch of things, so I actually want to remove this bag and put it in a nice paper bag so that she doesn't know where all the stuff comes from. So, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, so for her, her birthday is tomorrow, plus some of the balloons there in the back there is going to be for her. And then for Jeezy, my little sister, I got her from, as you can see, Cotton On Kids. I got her a couple of clothing items. I got her this really cute bag because she's she's really into bags and I feel like oh, this would be cute. Uh, normally I get her toys and things, but now I'm thinking to be a little bit more practical. The girl likes to look cute. The girl likes to look the bomb. The girl likes pink and she likes little girly things. So I picked up this little bag for her uh, along with uh, some hair clips these are hair clips for uh, she's got she's got long hair so these are the hair clips that I got her these are from cotton on as well she's really really into um, she's really into what do you call unicorns so I had to pick up the hair clips and then everything else is clothes so I picked up some tights for her, some t-shirts, and all of that. Again, I might add to this uh, gift. However, I don't think I will. I don't know. Who knows? But we'll see. Um, and then for your fave, I got your fave a... Um, so what my lady complains about quite a lot to me is that she doesn't have a diary because she's so busy now and she's doing all these campaigns and gigs and whatever. She always needs to remember dates and she always needs to remember, uh, meetings, virtual meetings and all that kind of stuff. So I thought to put together a package for her that's got everything that'll help her get her uh, organization in check. And I'm number one with that kind of thing. So <laughs> what do you even mean? So I went into Westpac. So with the balloon, I went into Westpac and I picked up this. Uh, oh, wow. The pink things are okay. So I picked up this wooden or oh, wicker little basket thing. And then there's pink sort of uh, foil pink balls in here and all of that. That's fine. They just kind of fell out, which is not really a problem It's not a big deal. It's fine. And then I picked up some clear cellophane um, It's for hampers and for gifts. This is the stuff that they cover up with so that's what I'm gonna do now and then for your girl I picked up a whiteboard marker for her. So now this marker uh, this white marker board or whiteboard or whatever has dates if you look at it it's from I picked it up from mr. price so you can see it's got dates it's got Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday and then she can write on it and then she can put little sticky notes with pins on the side there and she can mount it on the wall So she can mount it on the wall so that I feel is a great way so that's the only thing that's not gonna go in here but everything else is going to so we have got from typo because I'm the queen of typo I picked up a couple of diaries for her uh, we picked up this notepad this is um, a to-do list for uh, friends and making lists this is a notepad for urgent for later for not happening this is pretty much what it looks like it's pretty dope I think I like that one. I like that one. Uh, so we're going to put all of these in here. And then I've got a social media uh, planner, journal, and reflection tool. This is so cool. Let me show you guys. 
this is so cool so that's what it looks like this it looks like that see everything in the back is gonna go dark but pretty much it's for social media dates times what to post when to post weekly tracker of what you can post a post planner i think that's pretty cool um and then from typo as well i picked up this which says mind your mind which is an activity journal as well week one week two uh your reflections how are you feeling what do you see check yourself reflect yourself i think that's pretty dope as well and then um on special i picked up two little random journals i need to remove the price tags which is something that i freaking hey we also have exactly what she needed this is a uh daily planner and this one starts from august actually uh from august 2020 to january 2022 so it's quite got quite a bit of dates in here because she did say that she wanted this so picked this one up for her as well really really great planner so i'm gonna stick all of this stuff in here and i also picked up for her a desk uh what do you call it right for the desk where she sits and edits she can put this here it's a desk calendar a desk calendar so she can also put that there i don't know how in the hell i'm gonna fit this stuff in here So extra, but I know I'm the same. Yeah. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like oh my, all good all day, but the night we be going so hard on the flip side. So tell me we'll be on a day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But if you'd rather stay high, I know. Can we stay happy? I'd rather be on that way. Trying to control our emotions. If we on a rise out of passion, we could share love in the ocean. But if you want to go insane, either way, baby, we could go all night. We could do it all night. We could go all night. All right. So the weather has changed a bit. I switched to my sweater because. It's cold. Uh, I am actually on my way out now to deliver the girl's uh, gift, Mrs. 100K. I'm going to try and record the whole thing. She's coming from a nail appointment, I think. Uh, I'm going to leave my place. I think I should be there before she gets there, which should be exciting because then I can set up my camera and everything. Should be cool. Should be great. Um, uh, let's go. There's okay. the girl. There's the girl. There is 100K. Hey, 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 100K. Yes, the girl. She's on a hood already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you want to say to the people? Tell the people what you want to say about now, lady, 100,000. Yes, my thousand, my hundred thousand, my thousand. My thousand. What, what do you tell the people? You look great. Thank you look you. amazing, fabulous. We love the look. We love the fit. Tell us shoes. Tell us what's going on. I I I I I don't know what to say. O T D, but O T D. Oh, O T D. So mm -hmm. these are Jordan ones. They're very dirty, but they mm -hmm. they're still Jordan a, ones. A pants. Then these are pants. A, a. These are cool girl pants. Uh -huh. This is what we wear in the streets. In the streets. When you have a hundred K. Yeah, wait, wait. Thank ah! you. And then this. This is my crop jersey because you know you always yes. gotta keep it cute, yes. even in the winter time. Yes. Yes. Guys, I just wanna say keep grinding. You know, keep it's hard. Sevens. I mean, there's in hundred kinds of my guys. Go to some sevens. I'm accepting my sevens in. Yes, my sevens in. Better. Ah, my God, yeah. No, let's. I saw balloons in your car. Me, I want the balloons. Okay, yeah. I need you to go sit down, close your eyes, and everything. Can I vlog it? Yes, you can. We'll put our cameras there. Ah, my God, I don't know why it's time to get closer the eyes. I'm gonna take this time for night. Must I close my eyes? Must I close my eyes? Yeah, 
Man. Okay, I'm back. Okay. I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Back to you. They didn't have a one, they didn't have a K. So I was just like, okay, give me her name. Self-reflection and all of that, yeah. This is so cool. Yeah. I'm glad you love it. And then that is the proper place oh, for you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, you guys have been watching a planner. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
is very symbolic it's idyllic it's it flows really nicely um so this is about a young girl this is set in nigeria during the period of the nigerian civil um war which is between uh, 1968 1970 70, 71 it's set around that time and we are following a young girl by the name of Ijioma and the book essentially opens up with giving us a pretty vivid pretty um a descriptive description of her hometown where she comes from I, can't, I don't remember what it's called Ojoto I think and it uh it gives us a really vivid description of her family life living with her father who is a, a draftsman or architect and her mother and um how the their life is before the unrest begins and the civil war begins and this war is between the biafra people and the the houses if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong but yes and um so it, it's it's a war between these two groups of uh people in nigeria Essentially, the story is follows the life of idioma and uh, a relationship a kingship a uh, it follows a relationship a friendship that she develops with this young woman by the name of amim amina and Ijoma is uh, Ibo and Amina is Hausa. And around that time, of course, with the unrest, Hausa people and Ibo people don't quite like each other. Um, but yeah, it follows that time during the unrest, the civil war, and what happens after. And uh, yeah, but so far, it is written so well. I feel like I haven't described this book really well, but it's written so well. I was reading it in bed this morning. I'm sure you must have seen that clip already. I was reading it in bed this morning and um, I've been reading it for about the past two days or something. And um, I'm on page 130. So it's not, it's not, it's it's moving quite quickly um i do want to keep reading it but i've got things to do as well so um as you saw yesterday out went to naledi celebrated her 100k and all of that that was so much fun that was so much fun if i can tell you if anything my sister has um inspired me to keep going with my youtube channel she hasn't only inspired me she just motivated me uh given how she's uh, worked so hard to get to where she is and oh man it was just so beautiful for me to relish in that moment with my sister and actually have that moment for us where we can sit and celebrate and have a good time it was really really a jam it was a it was a vibe yesterday and i'm so happy for her i know my sister doesn't watch my videos oh i think somebody asked that like why don't you guys watch each other's videos we because we kind of know everything about each other you know <laughs> she tells me when she goes somewhere if she's meeting up with somebody if she whatever like i'll watch her videos if it's something in particular if she went to an event or she's working on a certain campaign or she's doing whatever then i'll watch the video but if she's just doing the basic stuff i ain't gonna watch my sister i ain't gonna watch her She's cool. I subscribe. I just go into the video. I like it. I show her the love and that's me. That's, that's about it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much that on that. We celebrated yesterday. So today is mom's birthday. Of course, we've gone, we're all going to be going home. I showed you the balloons that I got for her and her gift and all of that. So I'm going to record that for the next vlog. I'm going to end this vlog here today here. Um, so I had an excursion with Palisa the other day. I bought something from China Mall. Let me tell you something, guys, okay? First and foremost, me, in my life, I had never been to China Mall, okay? So Palisa and I went to China Mall because I wanted to go on an excursion. And I'm bummed that I didn't uh, vlog it or whatever. I could have done it with my phone. I'm so bummed I didn't do it. But for me, it was a big occasion because I'd never been there before. So we went and we looked around and we saw the clothes... Now I can see where these Insta baddies are getting their clothes. Eh? I'm sitting here thinking, can't take it. I saw this on the son's profile. I saw this on the son's profile. This is where the people get their things. Mm. 
Galibona. But you know what? Ain't no shame in the game. Good clothes, you, it doesn't matter how expensive or cheap or whatever the clothes are. You make them look good. That's all that matters, sis. Okay? That's really all that matters. And to prove, I got something from China Mall. Even me. I got it. I got it. I got the shit. So we walked around different shops. Obviously, different shops sell the same things. Now we're looking at prices. Now we're looking, okay, this shop has this uh, shirt dress at like 320. This one has it at 280. But out. You can't just, oh, okay, in the first shop, first thing you see in the first shop, you buy. Mela mm -mm. out and walk about and see the things. And then Uzobona is in You'll see we're in one shop. That thing that you wanted in the other shop is 30 runs cheaper in the next shop. So that's what we did. And I actually got something from the shop. What's the name of the shop? Sensi. A hey, Sensi. So I got this green. Um, sorry. I got this green shirt dress. Tandy was born. It's like a shirt. Okay. And I liked the color because it's like a, it's like a, 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 a green, like it's a grass green. <laughs> it's like a grass green. And I really liked it. So how it, how it's it's Luna. It's got L O in the front and then it's got V in the back. It's got love. I'll wear it with an outfit and then I'll put it on my Instagram. And again, nanne, how you so okay, eh? Kito, kito shita is tom. Guys. I'm gonna get back shots. Get to look at Chuck Taylor or, or whatever on those nice afternoons where you're meeting with your friends for a braai or you're going to a friend's house for a braai and chela. Ninga ang tatel pants, guys. You need to follow me on my Instagram. You'll see the 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 that mangfulu ngi sa ngi ngi sa ning. So I'm gonna make it look good. So you see at the back it's got V E and then in the front it's got L O G with the patterns up. But I liked the ruching of the the arms you see so it just comes up to here and then it just flares out Woo! it's martanya and i liked the color so oh i can an exact grass green eric is a me guys because i'm going to go china mall guys and if i like it i'm going to be there go china mall no i don't care what you say shem i don't care you can say oh ha i've seen that shit go china mall i don't care i can't get all i get any because my wardrobe will be versatile it will have reasonable things, cheap things, expensive things. It already has those things. So I cannot have a kimang and jajan. And then the next thing out is from Mr. Price. So when I went to uh, buy my sister's things and whatever, that whiteboard that I got for my sister, I did also get for myself to put in my office because it's my money. Okay, and if I got it for my sister, I can get it for myself, and nobody's going to tell me what to do with it because it's imaliam. So I got the whiteboard for myself as well because I love, you know me, I'm the queen of organization and I got a whole lot of things that I have in my head and a lot of the time it's always great to just put it down on a whiteboard and blah blah blah. So uh, Mr. That. Price has a to-go section and this, this little glass container thing, I saw it the last time that I was at Mr. Price and I bought the one with the yellow flowers on the inside, I'll, sh I'll show you just now, uh, but it was priced to go and I picked it up for 60 bucks and I thought this would be great with the extra one, I'll, I'll do a cutaway so you can see what I mean, with the extra one that's sitting on my coffee table in my lounge. So this one on the inside has sort of pink flowers in it, I don't know if you guys can see it. But it's pretty cool. I really, really like it. And for 60 bucks, come on. I already have the one with the yellow flowers. It was so full of projects last week. Sorry, guys. This smart. This smart. So the one that's sitting on my, um, on my coffee table now is this one with the dried flowers. I think it's really pretty. And then I'm going to put this one next to it as well next to it or maybe in a different part of the house i don't know i'll decide but then this one has the uh orange flower the pink flowers in it i thought it was really really cute i like it so that's so i got it yes i got it so i picked up um the pillar candles as you know in my bedroom i burn a candle right throughout the night every night not during the day right throughout the night every night for for COVID, for people who've lost family members to COVID, to any anything that's been happening in the world with relation to COVID, and um, yeah, because so so many people are dying. Yo, 
even in this country right now it's wild so i picked up an extra one of these um and then this is this new range that i saw from uh mr price so these are the candles can you see them let me get them out of the sun can you see them so these are the candles one is happy one says happy and the other says balance and it's it's relatively 100 bucks per candle and i'm gonna rip this i'm so sorry but i'm gonna rip this because i couldn't be bothered to go get a knife but i found that they look really nice on the inside the colors are actually quite lovely and they smell good of course i would smell one before i leave with one so this one is the balance one and let's see what the scent is so the scent is bergamot uh, petite grain rose violet clover and amber for this balance one and then it's got a cork top which is lovely i think that's love i think that these are beautiful i would probably pick up another two because there's one called calm one called awake there's different ones um so i picked up balance and happy oh that bergamot reminds me of the clone of a man <laughs> honey <laughs> um can you tell i'm in a better mood than my last vlog thanks to all of you guys who gave me the warm messages to all of you guys who said wonderful things to all of you guys who did the absolute most thanks thanks with regards to my mental health thanks um and then this one is happy and this one is the one in the yellow much rather maybe like a mustard box this one smells amazing this one smells like spring it really does uh it has sweet orange lemon grapefruit grapefruit musk and vanilla oh so sweetie just with a mental health update i really want to thank all of you guys for the wonderful messages that you sent me um in the last vlog that you saw uh my mental health in those two weeks was completely shot i'm feeling so much better about myself right now i just about my life about everything i feel renewed rejuvenated of course i've got bad days like on sunday today is wednesday on sunday i had a relatively bad day um so it just comes and goes but i've learned to uh you know to teach myself or to keep it ingrained in my mind that if i'm having a bad day like allow yourself to have a bad day don't try and push through it don't try be like okay let me just work to get it out of my head and not think about the fact that i'm having a bad day i I told myself and it's a mantra that I have to keep reciting in my head that if today is not a good day to film don't film if today is not a good day to work and you you can afford not to work don't work uh if today is not a um, a good day to do whatever if if that little voice creeps up in your head again and makes you feel some type of way and you're feeling crappy and you're feeling whatever then just don't do anything it's fine um and it should be okay and there's no need to justify it or explain it to anybody even myself you know so um but the thing is that medication that i was on i think my doctor wants to change it uh because physically it just wasn't it for me it really just physically wasn't it i can't even tell you some of the symptoms because i'm trying to keep it bg here pg i'm trying to keep it proper but um the medication really made me feel lethargic and it made me nauseous every single day and it the nausea was just so crazy the 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 just lethargic feeling the feeling like meh like i don't want to do anything that's that feeling that i had in my last vlog when i had the mental health update that i was going through every day so my doctor said okay we're going to change that she's going to put me into something else so yeah i'm waiting for that script and all of that and then i'll go and try so, something for the most part i feel better and when i feel better i want to work i want to be productive and i have been i've been uh shooting some things for instagram some reels getting things together uh doing uh, my work work i've been going to the office a lot more often um i 
I'm just trying to, to be better. I'm trying to do better and be better right in the moment where I feel good. So I'm giving myself that opportunity, that space to just do it, you know? Um, so yeah, for the most part, everything is okay. Um, if there is one good thing in, in, in my life, good sis, good sis got a new friend, but he watches my content and I can't say much because the one thing that he said to me was like, please don't make me your content. <laughs> but I am, mm, as the vlogs go, I might throw in some things, say some things here and there, but uh in this time that i've been really feeling off and all of that he's just been so supportive and he's been here and seeing me calling me take all this blah 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 <laughs> he's just been a dream so you're right guys yes i will get to where i need to get and i'm not gonna rush myself to get there so i'm working on a bunch of other things the podcast is coming Please be patient with me with that because, of course, I had that two weeks where I was just completely down and out. So please be patient with me with that. It's coming. It's coming. Her story coming. Everything. If you're not familiar with her story, if you're new to my channel, um, I have a, another platform, which is a work platform, but for women and all of that, I'll put it somewhere here. It's called Her Story Global. Her Story is for everything women. It's a global community for women and all of that. Um, the website is almost complete and I'm so excited. And once all of that is done, then I'm, I'll sit down and have a proper video about her story and introduce you to it but in case you just want to check it out in the meantime this is the instagram handle here and the information but it's for all women it's for it's just for us it's it's a platform for us anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i think it's pretty much going to be quite long so i'm going to end it here and start another one after this i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm gonna go i need to make some calls 